I'm Ho Yi here at Project Mask and here you see we are now having this plot of land at the beginning it was an old tamoy plantation and the uh, worst thing is like the whole situation here is flooding so we have to dig a lot of water canal to prevent the flooding issue and to dig the water canal another problem will occur is the soil erosion problem so the first thing that we do is to plant a lot of different types of grass and a selected grass that is suitable to hold the, hold the soil to prevent erosion so one of the most uh, successful plant that we found is this Okay, so we are very happy and excited because this is from our own land. Okay, let's go. Come and show you. And this is the one that we planted here as it's, it's easier for us to remove it and replant it. So basically, you just need to plant one and they will grow a bush like this. Can you see that? Okay, so now it's ready to harvest and replant it. So I will show you. Here you go, you can have these two roots. Yay! So this is very important to uh, prevent the soil erosion because the roots can actually penetrate very deep down at least 3 meters deep. So this, is, uh, this grass will form a netting, look at that, okay? A netting that which will hold the soil to prevent the soil drop uh, to, the, to the canal that we, we dig. So this is a very important and natural way to hold the soil and now we're gonna plant this to that area beside this we also plant a lot of different types of grass such as like a napier we have a few napier here that napier that you see is a pak chong napier pak chong napier and we also have a different types of grass such as a pandan napier draft napier too so look at this we check it out this so look at this napier yeah, they, are, they grow and the roots is actually similar and they can penetrate underneath the soil and naturally hold the soil to prevent erosion. So look at the canal there. That's the water canal that we dig. Okay, so that the water, when they overflow on the land, they won't overflow, they will just drip. When rains come, they will just drip over to here. And then the, slowly the soil will drop if you don't have uh, this kind of grass on, on the land itself. So we are very very happy that they are now adults, teenagers maybe, they grow now and when we cut it, we can regrow it again and again. Very easy and it's a natural solution for the land itself. So welcome to learn more and we are still learning and welcome to learn more from us to learn more about the marine clay soil and how we regenerate uh, the old palmer plantation to a food forest and how do we deep, how do we actually prevent flooding in our land okay so see you again and follow us more on our instagram and facebook to update our progress and follow and learn with us together